Better never means better for everyone, it always means worse, for some. In the world of The Handmaid's Tale, this haunting reality comes alive. Imagine living in a society where women have no rights, their identities erased, and their only purpose is to serve men. Hello Book Foxes, welcome back to Heath of Book Fox Summaries, books simplified for your busy life one summary at a time. Today we're diving into The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Published in 1985, this gripping and chilling novel has sold over 8 million copies and has sparked discussions around the world. Recognized as a groundbreaking work in dystopian and feminist literature, it has also inspired an award-winning TV adaptation. The Handmaid's Tale is set in a dystopian future, within a theocratic and authoritarian society called Gilead. Its gripping narrative examines the cost of losing freedom, and it portrays a world where women are controlled by the state, stripped of their basic rights. And in this summary, we'll explore the story, characters, and themes that make this novel such a compelling read. The story is set in Gilead, a totalitarian regime that has overthrown the United States. Due to an infertility crisis caused by environmental issues, Gilead enforces strict control over women's bodies and lives. Ofrid, the protagonist, is a handmaid, a woman forced into surrogacy to provide children for the ruling class. She is assigned to a commander and his wife, Serena Joy, to bear a child for them. Ofrid remembers a different life before Gilead, a time when she had a job, a husband named Luke, and a daughter. But in Gilead, her freedom is gone. Throughout the book, Ofrid reflects on her old life, while also seeking ways to rebel against the oppressive regime. Her inner thoughts reveal the struggle between submission and resistance, between fear and hope. Alfred, our protagonist and narrator, provides a powerful first-person perspective on life in Gilead. She's intelligent, observant, and deeply reflective about the life she's lost and the world she's trapped in. Throughout the story, she silently rebels against the system. The commander Alfred's assigned master is a high-ranking official in Gilead. He shows a conflicting personality, as he both enforces the rules of the regime and tries to form a personal bond with Alfred, taking her out on secret meetings and playing Scrabble. Serena Joy, the commander's wife, is a former televangelist who once advocated for Gilead's values. However, she becomes bitter and resentful over her role, particularly toward Alfred, whose purpose is to conceive a child on her behalf. Nick, the commander's chauffeur, is mysterious and becomes a crucial part of Alfred's life. Their romantic involvement is both dangerous and defiant, offering a glimmer of hope and human connection within a bleak reality. The Handmaid's Tale explores themes of power, gender oppression, and resistance. Theocracy and authoritarianism take center stage in Gilead, where the state uses religious dogma to justify the subjugation of women. The Handmaid's identities are erased, and they are only valued for their reproductive abilities. This society's rigid structure strips away humanity, turning people into mere roles and functions. The theme of language and control is also key. Women are forbidden from reading or writing, cutting off their ability to communicate freely. Yet, Alfred finds power in storytelling through her memories, reflections, and moments of rebellion she regains a sense of self. Real-life connection. Atwood's story is a stark reminder of how fragile freedom can be. The novel connects deeply to contemporary issues of women's rights, governmental control, and the erosion of liberties, making it highly relevant even decades after its publication. The Handmaid's Tale is haunting, thought-provoking, and eerily possible. Atwood's prose is rich with symbolism, and her storytelling evokes a range of emotions from anger to empathy to hope. One memorable quote from the book is, We were the people who were not in the papers. We lived in the blank white spaces at the edges of print. It gave us more freedom. We lived in the gaps between the stories. This reflects how Offred and other handmaids survive under the radar, quietly resisting in the spaces the regime fails to see. The character depth and powerful themes make The Handmaid's Tale a story not just of despair, but of resilience and survival. It's a book that challenges you to reflect on the power of choice and the cost of losing your voice. To wrap it all up, The Handmaid's Tale is a novel that lingers with you long after the final page. If you're interested in thought-provoking stories that explore society, power, and human resilience, this is a must-read. 
And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're intrigued by dystopian tales, check out our summary of Fahrenheit 451, the book that shouldn't exist. Both books dive into the consequences of totalitarian rule and how it shapes human lives. Interested in reading The Handmaid's Tale? Grab your copy through the links in the description. Your purchase helps support our channel, and we appreciate your support. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books simplified, minds amplified, see you in the next summary.